Hello guys and welcome back to OMS Tech Tutorials and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix the P uh, PS4 GTA 5 files required to play could not be downloaded and in order to fix this error code the first thing you guys can do is simply head over to settings you can go to system storage or just storage and then system storage and then save data now from save data if you have any like I guess saved uh, I forgot what this is called but like so you're gonna actually first go to GTA and if you have any of these like corrupt, what you're gonna do is simply hit on the options button on your controller and you're gonna simply delete them. That's the first thing you guys can do. And if that does, and then you can obviously check to see if the error code has been fixed. If that does not fix, the second method you guys can do is go to network, go to set up internet connection. And if you guys have a, have a LAN cable, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure, or you're gonna basically connect or use a LAN cable instead of using Wi-Fi because the LAN cable is like much better. And this could be the reason why the error code fixes as well. However, if you do not have a LAN cable and you use a Wi-Fi, that's fine. You're going to go to use Wi-Fi. You're going to go to custom. You're going to go to the Wi-Fi that you are currently using. And then after that, what you're going to do is you're going to look for manual, I believe. I th yeah, man. Okay, no, no, sorry. Automatic. And then from automatic, you can go to uh, do not specify. And then you're going to go to manual. And now for the DNS settings, what you can do is for the top one, you can do 8.8.8.8. And then for the bottom one, you can hit on 8.8.4.4. And then you can simply hit next, and then you can just go back. Okay, so now, and then you can also spam click on the connect to the internet three, four times. And then you can go back to see or test internet connection to see if the error code or if everything is working properly. And then once everything is working pro properly, you can go back to GTA and then you can check to see if the problem has been fixed. And then if everything else goes wrong, all you can do is simply go to power and then just turn your PS4 off. You're going to unplug all the wires out of your PS4. You're going to wait about five to 10 minutes and then you're going to hit or sorry, you're going to replug all the wires. Then you're going to check to see if that worked. And then that is it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and have a great day.